This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com gets you one of these Christian shirts. Put in Christ is King. No, not Christ is King. King Jesus. <laughs> I should make Christ is King. Matter of fact, never mind. Put in King Jesus, get 20% off the entire store. King Jesus, get 20% off when you get this. We got it in a hoodie as well. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I think one of the most emotional, and, and, and I, I literally teared up just a little bit when I saw this video. And this is what should have been presented at the Super Bowl. Now, let me give my quick commentary, and you, when you see this video, you'll know why. Now, we took the sound off the video because we didn't want to get copyright, copyright stri strike or whatever the case may be, but we're going to link the actual full video with the music to the video in the description section so you can go to the person's original page that made it if you want to listen to it with the music because it, it does add emotional value with the music. But let me just go to the actual Super Bowl video, and I want to touch on it real quick. I literally woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning, couldn't go to sleep. I was thinking about this video, and I, I have a speech at a church in April, and I'm going to talk about this video at that, at that church. The video that was on the Super Bowl, there was the washing of the feet. When I first saw it, I said, man, they crazy. They got the, pre they got the priest, uh, pastor washing the gay dude feet. They got the white man washing the immigrant feet. They got the rancher washing the Indian's feet. They got the police officer washing the black man's feet. This is woke. But then I watched it again, and I saw that both people had their shoes off, which means that they were washing each other's feet. The thing that I have a problem with and the thing that I like about it, I will explain here real quick. I did not like the fact that they were PC about they who they chose to wash the other person's feet. You know for a fact they'll never put on TV of a black man washing a cop's feet or uh, the native washing the white man's feet or the immigrant washing the white lady's feet. They, they had white people and always the bad culprit in this. They will never do the reverse because they can't be authentic. Now let's talk about Jesus real quick before we get to this video. Now if you look at the Bible in the book of Matthew, there's an articulation of how Jesus washed his, his disciples' feet. And, and, and I got to read it again, but when I read it, he just washed Peter's feet and told them to mimic what he had done. Now, maybe I, over, I misread something. Maybe he washed everybody's feet. Regardless of that, the feet washing occurred. Jesus only washed the feet or partook in feet washing with his apostles. On top of that, though, this is where a lot of Christians are missing it. Judas' feet was washed, although Jesus already knew he had betrayed him still washed his feet. So therefore, the video could have some relevant context. I think that they did it with wokeness in mind, possibly portionally in good faith. But I just didn't like the way it said. But I don't think it's anything wrong with you washing somebody's feet in, in, in show of brotherhood. Jesus did it, I think, to show humility. At my church, we used to wash each other's feet. I used to wash the pastor's feet or whoever you get selected, you wash each other's feet. All the men of the church would wash each other's feet. It wasn't, are you perfect? Have you sinned today? Are you a sinner? Are, are, you, know, are, you, are, you, are you speaking in tongues? It was none of that. We, as a show of love and solidarity amongst one another and appreciation and that I'm no bigger than you, you're no greater than me, we wash each other's feet. And I think they're washing a poor man's feet washing a, a, a gay person's feet, somebody who's trying to seek Jesus, in my opinion. Now, you out here just debaucherous, then I don't even think the feet washing is, makes sense. But if you're trying to find Jesus and you're struggling, you're trying to find Jesus and you are converting, then washing of the feet makes sense. Now, let me get to this video. I've been spending so much time talking about that. But this is a quick video, and I think this would have been a better, more powerful video to post at the Super Bowl. But modern Christianity is woke, and it's not authentic like this video. Roll a clip. Former KKK member. God. Drag queen, prostitute. Former abortionist. God, I wish they'd have played this. Former transgender. See, this is the transformational power of God. Former porn star. I'm finna start preaching. I don't know if I'm gonna start crying or preaching. Former new age guru. Lesbian activist. They ain't would never play this on TV. Jesus doesn't just get us. Say it. He saves us. I need to put that on the TV and give credit to that guy that made this video. This is what the gospel of Jesus Christ is all about. He don't just get you. He, Jesus, it ain't a one-way street. 
Y'all got to get, now I got to start preaching. It's not a one-way street. Jesus just died, so you just do everything. No, you got to, if you, be, if you believe Christ, you follow Christ. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's what Jesus said. There is, there is faith without works is dead. Jesus didn't just die for nothing. There's some effort on your part. God, you, you can't work for salvation because salvation is already there. But you have to receive it or reject it. That's an action. You can't be so good that you just create salvation. It's there. You go get it or you reject it. That's your action. If you really love Jesus, you follow what he said. If you really love the gospel of Jesus Christ and you want to be saved, you will remember when he said, be born again of the water and the spirit or you will never enter into the kingdom of God. Remember when, it, remember when Apostle Peter said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Remember that if you love Jesus. The biggest, the two biggest commandments, Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one, the Shema. Number two, love your neighbor as yourself. Number two, Jesus told them that's the greatest two commandments. So don't get so holier than thou that you don't love your neighbor, that you don't feed the least of these. Don't be so holy in the Tao that you cannot humble yourself and understand that you have been a sinner. And many of you guys on the right track now, you used to not be. So don't be too boastful and not humble yourself. That's why the washing of the feet is important to wash the feet amongst the saints. Now you're not going out and washing some random person's feet that don't even love God, not even trying to acknowledge God. That, that, that's not even, y'all shouldn't even ever get in that situation because it takes two people to hu be humble towards one another to wash each other's feet. Now, in conclusion, because I got to get on the radio, do I think that the, com the original commercial was just all bad? No. Nah. I think some Christians get overzealous and they try to make it more than what it is. I think that I wish that they would have done it and been more controversial like Jesus was instead of being PC. But I do think it's, it's, a, it's an incredible imagery of the two washing each other's feet. They just happen to only show one side and not show that the black man washing the cop's feet and the cop washing the black man's feet. The way I interpret this the way it should have been is that all these people are coming to Christ and they're putting their differences aside and now they're partaking and washing each other's feet. That's how it should have been presented. But I felt like it, it was presented kind of weird and therefore people jumped off a cliff with it. But I thought that this video was so much more powerful because it talked, it spoke about the, redemp the redemptive properties of learning about Jesus and following Christ. It showed, it showed that people can turn, repent from, you're not just sitting there sinning and Jesus love you and all this other stuff. You need to turn from your ways and he will convert you. He will, he will change your life. He will save you. You will have a place in heaven with him. But you got to repent. All right. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.